Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. So I thought I'm going to come up with an idea today. I've been asked to do uh, a painting for a friend and um, I thought, yeah, I would do this because she said I want something calming, something um, meditative. She said she's into meditation and all this type of stuff. So I thought, yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll do one of these things. So it's time to learn with our friend Clive. Grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. I'm just coming up with an idea. This is completely off the cuff. I'm, I'm thinking of drawing and painting something. Um, like a Buddha type of painting. But I want it, I want it, you know me, you know me, I, I like simple, I like simple. I like simple. So I'm thinking maybe something effective. I know she wants something nice and calming. So I thought I'd show you my process of just trying to sketch out an idea today. And thank you very much for joining me in the studio. As you can see on my palette, I've got some crimson red, I've got some cadmium yellow, I've got some burnt umber and black. That's all the colours I'm going to be using. I may, may have to use a little bit of white. I'm not too sure. In fact, I think what I should do is put some white on my canvas, which I'll do now. And as you can see, uh, as I was doing that, um, if you've watched the beginning of the video, <laughs> You see that I've just drawn out very quickly some short sort of a Buddha shape. So I'm thinking maybe now um, I need to add my media mix and my water to my palette. I'm just going to get some black, some black, a little bit of burnt umber, and I'm, I'm just going to just try and get my darks in place, just like this. I have painted a Buddha before, um, but I, she's wanted something to go. She, this, I'm painting on cardboard, so she didn't want a canvas or nothing like that. So I thought, hey, I got some, um, I got some uh, paper, cardboard there. I'll use that. I said. And she said, I've never had a painting done on cardboard before. And I said, it'll be good once we seal it and put it behind the frame. It's going to be quite nice because she didn't want a big painting. A lot of people don't want big paintings. And this is the mistake that a lot of us make, really, is that we think they need these 
you need people who want these big, big, big paintings. And that's not always the case. It's not always the case. Sometimes the small paintings are the ones that sell the, the most. And that's what I found when I've been doing craft fairs and things over the years. I don't do so many now, but I find that over the years, these are the type of paintings that go quite well. So I just moisten my brush. The other good thing about painting on cardboard is that you don't really have to worry too much about over thinning your paint because it's an absorbent surface and that way the paint actually soaks in into the canvas itself. When I'm paying for commission, I do tend to concentrate a lot. So if I, do, if I don't talk much, I do apologize. But you can just see what I'm doing. I'm just getting some of the colors in place now so I can just basically, it just gives me an, an idea of to win. to my painting. I'm trying to get rid of that harshness of the yellow that I put in place so I'm just basically just giving it a quick wash over. It should be a quick painting once I get it once I get it going. I'm quite happy with that so far. Now I'm going to get some crimson, some burnt umber, because I want to make this quite a dirty, I wouldn't say like a marbly type of, not marble, it's more of a, what's the word I'm looking for? I want it to look like rock, that type of stuff, basically. I want to get the paint brush marks in. The 
there's a frame going to go around the edge there, so I'm not too worried about the edges. So I'm going to go black, black, pure black, till I get that shape that I want. So acrylics do not have to be painted thickly, they can be painted thinly on paper and card. When you're dealing with acrylics on canvas you've got to be a little bit more careful because the canvas is not as absorbent as the paper surface or card surface that you're painting on. So the paint is going to um, eventually peel off over time. I'm not saying it's going to happen within a couple of months or even a couple of years but what I'm saying is it will happen it's inevitable that that's what the critics do it's just this it's a critics nature to do that because it's the way the 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 molecules bond to the surface of whatever you're painting on or the substrate as they say so when you're painting on cardboard because it's a lot more absorbent then you'll find that will tend to soak in a lot more there. So what we need to do now is start to emphasis on the more of red colour there to get a bit of shadow in. I need some more kitchen paper. Just merging a little bit of yellow into that. just to get a little bit of highlight.
into this area. Just a little bit onto the lips. Edge there like that. Continuing with a bit of shadow. Build up the area. Brightness here and there. You can get a tissue paper just brighten that up. Flatten it off, don't make it so sharp. I want to lighten this area a little bit. Let's get a little bit of yellow. Um, contaminated that a little bit now.
is slightly darker this side, so just adding a little bit more red there. Now, I'm still not happy with this this area. Right, what I'm going to do is dry that off and then I'm just going to put a wash of colour over it. more like an alien. <laughs> it's the angle I'm sitting at, I think, because I, I, it looks good to me, and I'm not too sure how it looks on camera, but... Hey-ho, we'll go with it. If it needs adjusting, I can do it later, but you can see what I'm doing. This type of project will take a lot longer than you think, and um, I'm not... I'm, uh, to me, it is just a lesson at the moment, so I just want to show you some techniques of how I approach it and I most probably need to adjust this so I'm gonna get some medium mix and some yellow and what I'm gonna do now is just put a coat of yellow over that Dry that off. Again, another coat of yellow. I'm not too happy with this corner there, it really does need to, because the angle I'm sitting at it is, but I'm not going to worry about that, um, I, if I have to repaint this I will, I just want to show you today um, what you can do, um, and, the, and the process is basically that I go through, so I'm just going to get some white, and as I said these are just lessons, these are not works of art, these are not paintings as such, I'm not worried about what they look like, it's more about what um, information you can get out of these things and you can do a much better job in a, a much quicker time than me I'm sure so 
so you can see the type of effect that they want to get from this. And in fact, what I'm thinking of doing, maybe I'll take it, I'll make it slightly bigger, I think. I think I'll repaint this one and But it's certainly going to be what she wants, I'm sure. What I wanted to show you today is that by using darker colours and then light colours on top that you can get a nice effect. Yeah, me. I think that's about right. So you can get a nice effect. So please, please, please persevere with your painting because at the end of the day you can only get better and I tend to be a little bit strict on myself because I've got time restrictions with videos and something like this could take me a good couple of hours if not more just, just to get right. Um, because as you can see there are several problems that I need to address with this particular painting and I'm just I decided that I'm going to take this on to a slightly bigger canvas or piece of cardboard and I'm going to definitely improve what I've done so what I what I find I'm not even going to bother about that now what I find is that it's better sometimes to paint something a few times before you get the effect that you're actually looking for. So I hope you can see roughly what I'm doing there. I don't know what the angle looks like. It looks, probably looks like somebody, somebody from Mars, but I don't particularly mind. I just wanted to show you a process. So thank you very much for watching and um, I'll do a better job next time, I promise. Bye bye. <laughs>